Hello everyone. Welcome to the KTHM College Nasik. My name is Sagar Parke. I am working as assistant professor in the department of physics. Welcome to the lecture series of Fundamental of Astronomy. Today we have a topic Components of the Universe. In the previous lecture we discussed that the universe. This is the picture of universe. It consists of hundreds of billions of stars, millions of galaxies, clusters of the stars, supercluster of the galaxies, dust, particles, gases, clouds, rocks, metals, and etc. So in the last lecture, we have seen that how the universe began, how it evolved and how it is expanding with the time. So the universe is everything that exists including space and matter. Matter is nothing but any kind of object. An object means volume occupied by the space. And as we know that the famous equation that conclude that the energy changes matter. Most of the universe consists of empty space because the universe is so far bigger. Masses of the object in the universe is very heavy and they have a safe gravity. So this picture is represent showing the picture of galaxy. In this galaxy you can see that you can observe that there are hundreds of billions of stars and so many solar systems are there. So far our astronomers have found that more than 500 solar systems and also discovering new ones every year. And scientists estimate that there may be tens of billions of the solar system in our galaxy. The galaxy is a collection of dust, gases and hundreds of billions of stars. And there are several different types of the galaxy, categorized by their shapes. Lenticular, irregular, elliptical and spiral shapes of the galaxies are exist in the universe. Lenticular means it's a convex both the side or it is also called as biconvex shape. The galaxy we live is called as a Milky Way galaxy and it is a spiral or a disc shape but we cannot see the entire shape of our Milky Way galaxy because Earth is the part of it. If you want to observe that, you should have to go with the speed of light beyond our solar system. In this picture we can see the twinkles of stars. So in the previous lecture we discussed that there is a big gigantic molecular gas cloud which contract due to the gravity and acquire angular momentum and the protostar is formed at the center of that planetary disk shape. So stars is a sphere of matter with high density and high temperature. It is due to the nuclear reaction at its center. There is a nuclear fusion occurs in between two nuclei and they form a new nuclei. During this process some amount of energy leaves in the form of light. So mainly hydrogen and helium gases emitted the light in the nuclear fusion process. There are hundreds of billions of stars 
in our galaxy. Sun is the closest star to the Earth. There are so many stars which are much bigger than the Sun. Now, Sun is medium size shape star. In this picture, we can see our solar system. These are the planets which are orbiting around the Sun. In order to the distance from the Sun. The solar system is a collection of the celestial bodies orbiting a star. Celestial bodies are the object found in a space such as planets, moons, comets, meteors and asteroids. Here we can see the beautiful picture. Actually it's a very beautiful picture but it is a very horrible too. If we lost here. So in the previous lecture, we have seen that this is a big molecular gas cloud and which acquire the disk shape due to the conservation of angular momentum. And here we can see that the proto star is formed at its center. And these are the entire matters which are rotates, collapses on each other. And they form a planetary disk around this proto star. And this planetary disk evolved the planets. So the planets are formed through the nebula, a molecular gas cloud. The disk shaped cloud of gas, and whatever the dust left over during the sun formation. There are eight planets in our solar system, but thousands of the planets around other stars and those planets are also called as extrasolar planets in our Milky Way galaxy. Types of planets. There are two types of planets, terrestrial or rocky planets and giant planets. So these are the four terrestrial or rocky planets, which are closest planets to the sun. The terrestrial planets is also called as rocky planet, and which is a composition of silicate rocks or metals in our solar system. These terrestrial planets are also called as inner planets because they are closest to the sun. In order to arrange the distance from the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These are the giant planet, which is also called as gaseous planets. Giant planets are much bigger than the Earth, and usually it is made up of gases or ice. And also, it consists of fluid where the distinct gas and liquid phase do not exist. Usually, the component present in case of Jupiter and Saturn are hydrogen and helium, and water, ammonia, and methane are present in case of Uranus and Neptune. So, in this picture, can see the celestial bodies in our solar system. This is an asteroid belt. So asteroids are made up of rocks, metals and located in asteroid belt. And this belt is in between Mars and Jupiter. And there are also a Kuiper belt which is also consists of ice rocks gases, clouds, and etc. So these are the four largest asteroids categorized by their dimensions. Sirius, having 939 km diameter. Vista, Pallas, and Hygie. Sometimes we observe the bright streak across the night sky. 
and called as meteors. Meteors are much smaller, called as shooting stars also, because they emit lights as they burn up when passing through the earth atmosphere. When such kind of materials come across the atmosphere of the earth, then it will burn up and it will look like shooting stars. In this picture, we can see the comets. Comets, which is basically a dusty snowball, which orbit the sun. Comet is an icy celestial body that, when passing by the heat of the sun, and it displays the coma or tail. This ice is made up of mixture of water, ammonia, carbon dioxide, and methane with the dust. And these materials came from the time. In the solar system of the world. These are the fundamental components of the universe. I hope you all very well known about these components of the universe. Thank you very much.